Why would you uh, make the decision ultimately to come across the country to Syracuse? Great coaching staff. I, uh, I built a great um, relationship with Coach Lester, Coach Schaefer. Um, I couldn't imagine going anywhere else. Eric, talking to Coach Park, he was saying how kind of the situation your freshman year at Lake Oswego was kind of similar to this one where starting quarterback got injured, you had to kind of step in. Just take me through kind of the similarities of those two situations. Yeah, 14-year-old um, um, going in against the varsity. I never could think of that. So uh, that, was, that was getting thrown into the wolves right there. <laughs> But um, it kind of prepared me for what this is right now. Um, a little bigger and stronger than I, when I was when I was 14. So, but uh, everyone else, you know, a lot bigger and stronger too. And and I heard you you told your mom not to come to this game because because you didn't think maybe you'd get in or you didn't think it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a, that's a long trip from Oregon, so I just told her, you know, it's all right. You don't you don't got to you don't got to get a ticket. So. <laughs> she coming out for this one? She is. <laughs> what about the Wake Forest defense that you've seen on film? I mean, they're a great team. They're very disciplined. So. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a challenge, but looking forward to it. How helpful has Terrell been uh, since his injury and talking to you? I mean, he, he's been great um, ever since the summer, so he's always been supportive. He's always been, you know, helping me out. He's never been about himself. He's always been about, you know, making others better, making everyone around him better, so um, he's been great. Now that you are in the driver's seat, what can we expect from you against Wake Forest? I'm just going to go out there, work as hard as I can, do the best I can for my teammates. We don't know a lot about you, true mm -hmm. freshman and all. Can you tell us something that we may not know already? Um, I don't know about that one, so I'll get back to you. On or off the field? On or off the field? Um, well, I guess I'm a business uh, major. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't really know. I'm tripped up on that one. <laughs> tell me what's uh, behind the nickname Sunshine. I talked to Andrew Phillippe. He told me, told me the story behind that one. Uh, well, I had long hair when I came here. Um, good Lord. It's killing our sound. <laughs> yeah. So I had long hair when I came here. Mm -hmm. um, I actually forgot to get a cut, and I never, uh, never knew where I could get a haircut around here, <laughs> so I just kind of grew it out. And then uh, one day someone called me Sunshine, and then it just from there it just stuck. And, once I cut my hair, everyone was pretty uh, upset. So. <laughs> I understand Wake Forest recruited you a little bit. Um, yes, they just walk me through the process. A like, oh, coach came out and saw you. What was your interactions like with them? Um, yeah, I mean, a, lo a lot of coaches, you know, the recruiting stage, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. So um, they actually got a commitment, so they stopped uh, recruiting me, which um, then, you know, I just moved on. That's what happens. Um, so. so this game doesn't really have any extra meaning for you being Wake Forest, does it? Oh, no, it's just, just hang out. <laughs> How much different has game preparation been for you know, first and second college game than maybe back in high school? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot more. I mean, we, wow, we put a lot more work in here. So a lot more film work, um, you know, going over coverages, all this. So it's a lot more than high school. And then taking a look across the country, there's only a few more schools that are few schools that played more freshmen week one than Syracuse did. And obviously, you know, you were one of the, a lot of freshmen who got in the game, got. Of yards. I mean, what's it like being part of this freshman movement, this youth movement kind of at Syracuse? Um, I mean, all of us freshmen, we get along really well. Um, and the older guys do a great job of, you know, bringing us in, making us confident. So uh, it's, it's nice. I mean, uh, it's definitely nice to get freshmen around you, you know, going through the same thing. So, but we're trying not to play like freshmen. We're just trying to you know, do the best we can for our school and our teammates and our coaches. A lot of guys talk about a family atmosphere at Syracuse when they're being recruited. Could you talk about that? Oh, definitely. When I came here, that's the first thing I noticed. Uh, everyone is so tight. And um, it's great. I mean, everyone's got each other's back. It's a it's a true brotherhood. What was your reaction when you saw yourself on Sports Center when you make the top ten? I actually didn't even see that. So my sister texted me, but I try not to get caught up in it. I'm just trying to focus on my job. Now that you have had a few days though to process, I mean, it was probably all nerves when they threw you in there. But what are you kind of thinking about it? Was it was it just nerves? Was it butterflies? I mean, at first, you know, you just the first hit kind of knocked all the butterflies out. So after that, it was a uh, it was a lot more comfortable. So. How do you nervous at all about this week, though? Uh, I'm just trying to get prepared for this week, and you know, I mean, as prepared as I could be. Uh, you know, the nerves they kind of go away. How did working out with the Barton team, and maybe within that, you know, working out with a lot of older quarterbacks, maybe when you were in early in high school and middle school, uh, guys who went to play in college and brought the NFL, how did that prepare you for kind of being a college quarterback? I mean, it helps a lot. You know, training with the best, um, it really, like, pushes you, makes you, uh, makes you work harder and um, better. So, I mean, it was, it was definitely helpful for me.
Did you grow particularly close with any of, any of those guys? Yeah, I mean, all the West Coast guys. They went to, you know, either Montana, Willie Flute there, um, uh, other guys also. I mean, I've, I have a relationship with them, and I'm in touch with them. Some guys who went to smaller schools, but I'm definitely always in touch with them. They're always texting me, so it's nice to, it's nice to have that. Eric, Tim came out to see a lot of built a relationship. Obviously, put a lot of care into it, kind of trust both ways. Just go into your relationship with him and what ultimately brought you here. I mean, he's really the reason. And, well, not the main reason, but he is one of the big reasons I'm here. He's a great coach, smart, hardworking, and um, he really knows how to make you play with confidence. So um, he's he's been great. He's a great um, great way to learn um, at this level. You talking about his faith in you to be able to put you in right away? Yeah, I mean he puts no pressure on me. I mean the only pressure that was on me was the one I was putting on myself. So he was taking all off me. Schaefer was taking all off me. You know. You know, Chip comes up to me, he's like, this is why we brought you here. So, it's nice to hear. What are your past coaches?